This is my Manjaro Linux flavored ThinkPad X270 and it looks and feels just as good as it seems and it's the perfect laptop. Or is it? So let me tell you right now, this is not the laptop of my dreams and honestly, I think I was better off with Windows 10. But hey, stay with me just a little bit longer and see how this turns out. So let's talk about the screen. It has a 12.5 inches screen with an anti-glare coating. It's not full HD and you can make that change, but for me, right now it's good enough. Also, I have 8 gigabytes of RAM and 220 gigabytes of SSD. I'm thinking of upgrading this in the future, but for now, this will do. And let's talk about the processor. It has a 72,000U processor with integrated graphics, an Intel HD 620. And why did I choose Manjaro to install on my laptop? So I've been wanting to install Linux on my laptop since forever. But why did I choose Manjaro Linux? And I actually mean why? I think I chose Manjaro because it's a lightweight desktop environment. And I think with the specs of this ThinkPad, it would run well. And I also chose a lightweight desktop environment like XFCE and it's blazing fast. So let's talk about the bad things. I needed a client for Zoom calls for work, but I tried installing it and it didn't work. And I couldn't find a way around it, so I cannot use it. And I also need Apple Notes. It works across all Apple devices and it syncs perfectly. Another thing that doesn't work is the Wi-Fi. But hear me first, I can use Wi-Fi here at my house perfectly. The problem is at work, it asks me for configuration things that I actually don't know. And I've gone to the IT department of my workplace and they also didn't know what to do. And they said that I should install Ubuntu. And finally, I need Citrix for work because I needed to connect to a remote desktop environment and I haven't been able to do it. So to sum it all up, I don't know how to use Manjaro Linux. And I have to say that everyone warned me. Manjaro Linux is not for beginners, but I wanted to try it anyway. But wait a second, it's not all bad news. This is one of the best keyboards I have. Look at the travel and the feel. As I said, this is one of the best keyboards I have right now on all of my devices. I'm sorry, MacBook, you have competition here. Also, the weight is great. It's almost one and a half kilos. You can put it easily on your backpack and take it anywhere. All the functions keys work on Manjaro. So this is a plus. Everything works right out of the box. So what should I do now? With a really good laptop, really good hardware, and software that I really don't know how to use. So I've thought about it and I think I can make something good out of it. So I'm going to put into practice the things I've learned on this book, make time, and I'm going to create a distraction-free laptop. So I bet you're asking, why do I have to do this? So this is a first world problem. I have lots of screens. I have an iPhone 13 mini. I also have an iPhone 15. But if I take into account devices with keyboards, I have an iPad Pro, a MacBook Air M2, and a new ThinkPad. And sometimes I don't get the time to sit down and write. So this, my logical ThinkPad, will become a distraction-free laptop. And it will do just one thing, help me write. And I think this is the perfect way to put friction between me and watching videos. So finally, this laptop will serve its glorious purpose, be meaningful. So, have you ever thought about switching to Linux? How did it go for you? Tell me in the comments. This is Jose signing out. I hope you liked this video and see you on the next one.